morning, everyone. My name is Inesh Suarez, and I am Lonsdale's JCR for College Sports Officer. We have um, started these sequels of vlogs entitled A Day of a Life of the JCR, and today is my day, and I'll be taking you through my usual day in lockdown. I've just gotten dressed and I'm in the kitchen right now making breakfast. I've made toast and a milkshake of banana and oatmeal. I don't usually have this much for breakfast, but since I'm trying to gain weight to build muscle mass, um, I've been trying to like, you know, eat in a surplus and eat more often during the day. I've already got some questions in which I'll be answering. So my favorite sport is definitely volleyball. I've been playing volleyball for roughly around eight, seven to eight years. So I started off playing volleyball in school and I also moved to playing in a local team as well as the national team. So for those that didn't know, I was born and raised in Macau, China. I'm Portuguese, by the way. I also play volleyball for the university team. On the topic of sport, a sport that I would be very keen on learning would definitely be um, cheerleading. So um, I was kind of introduced to cheerleading with from one of my housemates. Um, she does cheer for the university team. And I find it such a dynamic and, you know, exciting sport. And I love the uniform as well. I study economics and politics and my academic day today is relatively quite relaxed. Um, I've only got a seminar at one and I've got some readings to do. So that's what I'm going to be doing. My favorite food is definitely sushi. Uh, growing up in China, I've been exposed to several Asian cuisines and I am particularly fond of the Japanese one, particularly sushi. I've just finished um, the readings and I'm going to be making some food before my seminar at one. I'll probably be making oatmeal. Oatmeal is my go-to snack. I just finished my only seminar for today and I'll be having lunch very shortly. Setting long-term and short-term goals is very fundamental in order to motivate yourself to attain these goals. Um, for instance, during first lockdown, one of my goals was to get into shape. So I was constantly working out every day, different body part. And I was, in fact, seeing results. And the fact that I was seeing these results was motivating me even more. However, I did struggle a lot during the second lockdown here in Lancaster. Um, but towards the end of the first academic term, I realized that planning your days the night before ahead, so creating this let's say like a calendar, like a schedule actually for your day um, will actually help you to, you know, stay motivated, stay on top of your game and do what you have to do for the day. I know that uh, homesickness is very applicable to every student here in Lancaster University at some point of their lives um, during their three years of studying overseas. Um, I know that there's several ways to overcome this, such as, you know, investing in your hobbies, um, trying out new hobbies, um, you know, socializing with your club mates, friends, flatmates, housemates, and even, you know, keeping in touch with your family through FaceTime or even calling them. I know that as a result of this pandemic and even during this pandemic, all of these have been very difficult, especially like in terms of socializing with other people and sports and exercise. Um, an advice I would give is, you know, try keeping in touch with your, you know, your group bubble, your, you know, your social bubble. So let's say your housemates, your flatmates, actually. And, you know, try out new hobbies. <laughs> Me and the other sports officer have just completed a online um, workout, which I do think was quite successful. Quite a few people did attend and it was honestly a lovely time. I just finished the JCR meeting and I'm quickly going to do a few, you know, sets of upper body and um, then I'm going to have dinner. I'm ending the night with doing some more um, studies. I'm focusing mostly on economics tonight, just going over some lectures and doing tutorial work for tomorrow. Sports in general has had and still has, in fact, a huge impact on my life. So being involved in something that I'm really interested in has definitely like captivated my attention and has made me, you know, love being on the JCR. Um, I also really love the people in the JCR and I can't wait to get to know them more as the year progresses. This question actually has two parts to it. So firstly, I was really content 
in my first year with the works of the JCR. I felt that I felt so belonged in this college and we were so united um, and the JCR made us feel so welcome and so at home that I too wanted to create and be a part of this, you know, bigger pictures in order to like, you know, reinforce this strong community. And secondly, um, as a result of the pandemic, I really wanted a new challenge in my life and something to work for and push myself to. And the JCR was a perfect role for it.